Hello all. In this quick session, I'll show you a little tip and trick with Wireshark and T-Shark called Decode As. So let's jump right in. Now I have a recording of uh, basically a VoIP call uh, going from a client to a server and back. And this is actually having SIP and RTP as the VoIP protocols and SIP is encrypted using TLS while RTP is in plain text. So now if I wanted to look at, let's say the RTP streams, which is what carries the voice, uh, and I run the quick command T shark dash R, call voice mail dash Z, RTP streams, just gonna add a dash Q for quiet. What you'd notice is, well, there is no stream, right? Now, if you were to closely look at the file using Wireshark, and we looked at the TLS traffic, we would actually notice that TLS is carrying SIP over TCP. So, which means there's probably more VoIP traffic in here than what T-Shark or Wireshark initially kind of told us. So I'm going to search for RTP, unfortunately nothing. Uh, when I search for UDP and I scroll down, then I see a lot of UDP packets, right? Between port 4000 and 13868. Uh, so interestingly, with a little bit of more analysis, what you would actually see is there are RTCP packets uh, in here as well. And let me try to show you the RTCP packets. There it is. And you notice that the RTCP packets are kind of interlaced with UDP. So this clearly tells me this is RTP traffic. Now, unfortunately, Wireshark is unable to go ahead and decode this traffic. Uh, and this is something we can very easily do with the help of the decode as trick. So all we have to do now is basically say, hey, you know what, decode UDP dot port equals equals 4000 as RTP. And there you go. Now we've recovered RTP streams. And if we apply the display filter for UDP dot port equals equals 4000. We remove the quiet option. Then we would end up seeing all the RTP packets as well. And similarly, visually, we could have just done a decode as and scroll down to get the RTP option and there you go right now you can actually apply this to a lot of scenarios including unknown protocols running on non-standard ports and even at times when command and control is actually tunneling through other protocols so if you're interested to learn more about how to you know analyze this methodically uh, we have a bunch of courses an interesting one is t-shark unleashed so please do have a look on Pentester Academy. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.